maybe about yourself or about coach? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Last year, last year was the longest two years of my life. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's you know at the end of the day, you know you, you've got to find small victories, you know, in everything. Um, there were so many times, you know, what was was amazing to me is like um, in the wins, Coach Venables was just as critical as he was in the losses, you know, and and uh, you know there were some games where. It looked like we played well, and he, you know, we come out Sunday morning, and he was right there on top of us about, you know, the little things, the little things, the little things, and you know, for me, it just, I think last year the biggest thing is he just teaches you, man, that you, you got to have long-term goals, a long-term process, and 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 just realize that you, you you're not winning yet, but you're getting better, and uh, built, you know, sometimes when you uh, you go about remodeling a house, you got to tear everything down to the foundation to um, to get it how you want it, and uh, that just. Something I got to continue to remind myself, and uh, just just focus on making sure those guys know where they're know know where they're supposed to be, and, and make sure they're getting better every day. What you are, talked about competitive depth. Sorry about that, Josh. Uh, you talked about competitive depth uh, as a staff going in at your position. It looks like you've got what you're three deep now, or you got four, or five. Deep? Uh, you know, for us, because we'll, we we'll move guys around quite a bit. You know, we feel like there's five, six guys that we can that we can play a variety of positions. Um, and that's big because of the multiple fronts that we play, the three-man fronts, the four-man fronts, and then the different safety packages that we put in. Um, that was the biggest thing for us. Um, and, and so, um, again, like you're saying, it, it, it's about competitive depth. It's about guys knowing that they got to show up in each and every day and, and that there's somebody that's pushing them to be the best version of themselves and, you know, coming in and taking notes and, and asking questions and not deciding, hey, today I'm going to take a day off. Uh, and that's what competitive depth is. is you know, having somebody, you know, and, and as coaches, you know, Coach Venables is constantly challenging us. And, hey, guys, we got to find ways to get better. And I think as long as you're doing that, all the results are going to end up playing out the way you want. You betcha. What do you think you know about your group going into camp? What are you confident in? And what are you still trying to maybe sort out or figure out about your group? Well, we're stronger. You know, I think we're faster. I think Coach Smith's done an unbelievable job this, this offseason. Um, we're more confident because there's another year in, in the system. Um, you know, the last year at times uh, there was a lot of, um, you know, the thing you'll learn about about players and, and people in general is a lot of times they, they'll tell you they know what you're talking about, but it's only through trial and error and, and experience that they learn what they really do and don't know. And you, in the same, you know, you think you've explained it in a way maybe. And, and uh, But what I see a lot m more now is that we're able to move through our install a lot quicker um, because those guys have been in a lot of those scenarios. Um, you're not you're not having to go back and, and, and start from ground one, so to speak. Um, so I think experience, as far as just in the defense, is the biggest thing that I've I've seen. You know, when we signal in a defense, it's like okay, these they're not like well, what is that? You know, so who uh, who's made the biggest jumps for you from the spring to now? I know you're getting into camp and you're going to figure out all the the serious jumps, but who who impressed you throughout the spring? Man, you know, there's that core group. You know, uh, you know, you know, we had a couple guys that had some injuries that they were dealing with, but, uh, you know, um, you know, Billy, you know, Key, Peyton, Justin, uh, Reggie, you know, these are all guys that taken a lot of reps this spring and, at, you know, at times, you know, um, you can obviously tell Billy's a lot more comfortable, you know, he's, he's getting the call, getting lined up and playing, you know, I see, you know, Key's doing the same thing, you know, a lot of stuff still new for Reggie, um, but he, he looks a lot more comfortable going into camp than he did the first of spring and then, you know, Peyton, you forget that he's a true freshman. You know, I think that uh, his football IQ is, is something that's really impressed me. You know, he's it's a lot put on him, and, and uh, he's got natural ball. He's got natural ball instincts, and, and uh, you know, as you saw the interception and stuff like that, he he's able to process and, and, and has a good feel for just defense in general. What kind of dynamic does Reggie add uh, to the room? Also, we know we can hit. We saw that with uh, with, with Dylan. He knows that, but. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, well, you know, the biggest thing is, is like we've talked about, is this guy that's played a lot of snaps and a lot of games. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's not going to be somebody that the moment's too big for. Uh, a lot of times, you, crowds are screaming, and it's thirty-one to thirty, and and uh, you get the call, and and just just being able to play with a quiet mind and a clear mind, and being able to look and see the formation, know the tendencies, see what you're about to, you know. Defense, great defensive, you know, players. It's about anticipation, and so and that comes from experience, and so. Um, he does a really good job of seeing the field and, and knowing where he's at on the field and, um, you know, playing off other people's mannerisms. And, and, and um, that's been the biggest thing for him is just 
Saw a lot, saw a lot of live bullets in his life. One of those guys that was banged up in the spring was RSJ. Just how big is the fall for him uh, with that in mind? Yeah, it's huge. You know, I mean, the guy I played as a true freshman, you yeah. know, and ha has loads of talent. Uh, somebody that, you know, people don't realize didn't play a lot of DB in, in high school. I'm um, really transitioned to the position late, so still learning that side of the ball. Um, but he's really smart. He's a great person. And uh, I think he's going to have an, just a really good future here. I, I love the kid to death and love everything that he's about. Um, he's really steady. And um, just the good thing about camp, man, is you just get in, inundated with so much information um, that it's kind of like you take this crash course and then all of a sudden the season starts and a lot of the stuff you don't use, but it's you've been exposed to it. You know what I mean? And so when you come back to it the next time around, um, you don't have to start out with what, or what does that mean? Mm -hmm. You know, you, you've already been in that in that position. So I think a lot of people can look at Peyton on the field and just see how talented he is. But behind the scenes, just what are some things that the outside world doesn't see about him that really impresses you? He's, he had a three five GP uh, three point five GPA three point five four uh, had I think one of the highest GPAs in in, in our room as a as a safety on scholarship. Um, and uh, you know his sister passed away. Uh, in the spring, and uh, he does a really good job of um, being there. He's a, he's a great uncle, man. He's just a good person. Um, he's very humble, down to earth, um, and uh, he just, you know, if you, it's what's funny is you, you know he's got other things outside of football he enjoys doing, and and uh, that's what makes you know, that's what makes being a coach fun because you see the human side of people, and uh, he's a good he's a good dude, man. He's a good person. What kind of luxury is it to have guys like Billy and Key back? been here for this will be the third year for both of them here just how how much easier does that make your job having two guys that have been around for a while like that well I think it's just now you can move into more of the uh, complex things on mm -hmm. defense you know so like when you first install and you get new guys you're just trying to teach them the basics just alignment stance you know where my eyes my key all those different types of things and then once you've got experience in that system they know all that. They don't need to hear all that. And so now you can start, all right, well, here's the problematics. Here's the things that give us issues. Here's the here's the beaters, so to speak. And um, when you can get them to that level, when they start start seeing not just the how but the why, um, that's when you really start seeing a big jump because they're no longer thinking about what the call is. They're thinking about what's coming. And now they can start to assume.